everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing another little different video and basically I'm going to talk about the struggles that us small YouTubers have because I mean I'm guessing a lot of you can agree. I've seen quite a few of these videos recently again and I feel like I should do one because there is actually a lot of struggles that we don't talk about behind the camera and yet excuse my top it's really creased but I can't be able to iron it until I actually go out. But yeah let's just get straight into it. <laughs> obvious and it's more obvious for a small youtuber i don't think big youtubers will really notice but gaining a sub is such a big thing nowadays i'm like oh my god like i got another sub and i'm like babe 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 i'm like getting closer to this but like if you're a bigger youtuber of like 60k plus or like even 40k plus that's big to me like you probably don't notice a subscriber when you gain one i mean if you gain like 10 or 20 then yeah you might notice but we notice when we have one sub and it's yeah i'm grateful to gain a sub also notice when we lose a sub so basically say like i don't know if i lose a sub i notice it knocks me off guard a bit but i try not to let it get to me because i mean if you don't enjoy my content and you don't subscribe then that's fair enough like i'm not forcing you to watch my content if you don't like it then it's just plain and simple really but losing a sub does make a difference to us so say like i'm getting close to my goal and then it drops back down it is frustrating but i mean like if you really want to work towards this then you sort of just have to like keep your head up because I mean, it's one setup. Like you can't, you can't worry too much. Otherwise, you're just gonna demotivate yourself and knock yourself off guard. And it's yeah, it's just not great. No, if any other small YouTuber finds this, but basically hopping on a trend. So say like there's a challenge going around or a makeup trend like the brat challenge. You hop on it, and because or even if you do it a little bit later, sometimes I bring back trends. I like to do that. Um, Bigger YouTubers always get, obviously, more attention and get more notice. But say you hop on a trend, because it's already been done, like, not many people want to know about it. But I mean, like, that's the whole point. It's so hard to find originality on YouTube nowadays, because everything's been done. It's, like, kind of hard. I mean, you have to really think about it. But I'm just, like, I don't know how to put it out there, but bigger YouTubers, if they do a trend, or they do an old trend and bring it back, then they'll get so much more views comments whatever and uh, it's just a struggle for us small ones over here really annoys me self-promoting comments so basically i get comments on my channel it's happened like quite a lot more recently it's like oh my god your brows look so nice this video is amazing your makeup looks amazing how about you check out my channel like you're basically complimenting me but you want me to check out your channel so i'm reading this comment like oh my god thank you so much for the comment like that's really nice to hear that and then check out my channel it's like you're self-promoting on my channel. I've had people do it on like several different videos and I'm like, I can see you, but I'm like, I have no interest in your content. So I'm therefore, I'm not gonna like look at it. And it's just frustrating. Okay, this next one really annoys me. So say I make a really like 10, 10 quality video and it's like, I don't know, I love it, I think it's funny or I spent ages editing it and it's come out like how I wanted it to and I'm really pleased with it. And then you upload it and you're like, oh yeah, this is really gonna like, go somewhere or like get a few more views six hours later you've got like seven views anyone else had that happen because it is so frustrating like i'm like oh my god this video is gonna be lit and then it gets like no views and i'm like oh my god am i the only one that finds this funny it is so frustrating but you know i mean that's the uh, struggles of a small youtuber again another one so basically like one of my first videos was actually my most viewed and I got like over 500 views, which is really good for me, considering I'm still obviously a small YouTuber. And I did like a recent haul and I found, I don't know if I hopped on a trend by accident or it was in trend at the time or fashion or whatever. Or I've done like a testing Primark makeup one and that got so many views, like 400 or something. And then people love that, you get subs from it. So you remake the video like a year on because obviously like it's good to do it yearly so you can see the difference in brands and stuff in the beauty industry. And then... It doesn't get as much like, I don't know, I want to say attention, that's not really the word, but it doesn't get as many views and stuff and you're like, oh. And then people unsubscribe and you're like, well, you liked my last content. I mean, if you don't like my videos, then fair enough, like I said. But it is kind of frustrating, again. <laughs> last point, there's probably many other struggles, but I'm not going to go into all of them because I can't think of the top of my head. But ha not having the equipment to do what you want. So yes, I have a light box. This one was actually quite cheap. It was like £15 of eBay, but it does the job. And no way have I got the money to spend like £500 on a camera at the moment. So I actually film off my iPhone 7 at the moment because the camera that Mel gave me, we need to get a, like, a Wi-Fi SD card for it. If anyone knows what it is, then yeah. 
But I didn't have money for expensive big tripods, like £100 like ring lights and stuff. So it's frustrating not having it how you want. Or I don't have a laptop to edit on. I actually edit on my iPhone, which is a lot easier by the looks of it anyway. But I mean, like... I don't have, I can't afford Final Cut Pro and stuff and do all this snazzy stuff. So you have to like make do of what you've got and just like literally make the most of it. But yeah, that was my last one. Okay, so those struggles, oh my God, they were my main ones. But if you guys agree, comment down below so I know who else has these struggles. Cause you know, I know quite a few people do. And give this a thumbs up, go click that subscribe button and click the bell because there's quite a new few videos coming up. And if you, have, uh, if you haven't seen my last one, there is a part two haul coming up. So go check that out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.